this. I, I gotta talk to him. What do you think? Cold? How are you gonna do that? You're not one of those guys. I'm gonna psych myself into it like, like those people that just walk across the hot coals. But they're not mocked and humiliated when they get to the other side. I have to. I won't be able to live with myself. And a cheery, there's a bigger issue here. If you go through that wall and become one of those guys, I'll be left here on this side. Take me with you. I can't. What are you going to say? I don't know, hi. <laughs> you think you're going to the other side with I? with someone like me. Oh, God forbid you can discuss the jumbles. <laughs> but to go so far as to pretend you're almost deaf, I mean, that is truly disgusting. Yes. And Mr. Tom Hanks, may I say he too would be disgusted by your behavior. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, that's not. That's right, ignore it. That's real polite. And nobody's even talking to you. Oh, you big lines, woman. Oh, I got some kind of a cool job. I know you're tired thinking too good for everyone, but you know, it's women like you. Oh, well, what are you, deaf? Bingo. And you're saying she's deaf. I'm not saying she's deaf. She's deaf. Can't hear a thing. Can't hear a And you're going to go out? Yeah, there's not something? Hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I know how to sign. Really? Yeah, when I was eight, I had a deaf cousin who lived with us for about a year. Of course, you know, I haven't been able to do it in a while. <laughs> what is this about? I met this deaf lines woman at the test match. You are kidding. That is amazing. I just took a car service from work, and to get the driver not to talk to me, I pretended I was going deaf. Wow, good plan. Oh, it didn't work. He caught me hearing. <laughs> terrible, but I'm not a terrible person. No. No, when I shoo squirrels away, I always say, get out of here. <laughs> I never, ever throw things at him and try to, to injure him like other people. That's nice. Yeah, and when I see priests in the street, I never, ever stare at him. And yet, I'm careful not to look away, see, because I want to make the freaks feel comfortable. <laughs> That's nice for the freaks. Yeah, and I don't poop up my hair when I go to the movies so people behind me can see. I gotta make it up to this guy. I'm not gonna be able to live with myself. What can I do? Why don't you get him some tickets or something? And how about that friend of yours that works the ticket agent? Yeah, 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 yeah. You get your great tickets to something. Really? Yeah, like a rock concert, whatever you like. Oh, great. Thanks, Kramer. <laughs> You've got it. Hey, Jerry, do me a favor. The next time you see that lines woman, ask her how those ball boys get those jobs. I would love to be able to do that. Kramer, I think perhaps you've overlooked one of the key aspects of this activity. It's ball boys, not ball men. There are no ball men. Yeah, I think he's right. I've never seen a ball man. Well, there ought to be ball men. All right, I'll talk to her. You want to be a ball man? Go ahead. Break the ball barrier. Hey. Oh, you know what? A friend of mine from work says that she saw George at the tennis match on TV yesterday. Yeah, yeah me too. He was at the snack bar eating a hot fudge Sunday. He had it all over his face. He's wearing a hat chocolate on his face like a beard, and they got in there really nice and tight. <laughs> <laughs>